sorry, not quite sorted. Right, this is Wednesday, the 8th of July. Today's workout is gauk, and you are going to do three rounds, four times of 22 of each movement. Stop trying to do the numbers, my fingers, it's not working. Um, 22 high pulls, 22 hand release press ups, that's when your chest touches the floor and you just take the tension off the floor for a second, lift your hands off the floor, just a tiny wee bit. Uh, 22 jump overs, you can jump over anything you like, it can be high or it can be quite low, okay, so it could be like a sock on the floor or it could be a bench. Uh, 22 lunges, knee touching floor, no weights. 22 bent over rows, either single arm or both arms together. And 22 ab mat sit ups, which can be done with or without an ab mat. Okay, so uh, scaling your hands for the press ups could be up on a, a chair or a bench, or even hands against the wall. And the lunges could be step ups. Jump overs could just be little bunny hops forward. Okay, so many, many broad jumps. So high pulls. So for your high pulls, your weight is going to touch the ground between your feet and it's going to finish just below your chin. Okay, so weight touches the ground between your feet, chest up, butt stuck out, knees out. Drive up with your legs and the weight's going to finish just below your chin. Drop your arms back to the floor. And that can be done with anything that you can grip a hold of. So if you're a total beginner, then uh, you might just grip onto a cushion. Um, if you've got a barbell, you could use a barbell. Um, dumbbells, kettlebells, anything. Okay, so for the press ups, hand release press ups. Let me see. Let's face this way. Hand release press ups. When you go to the floor, your chest is going to. Uh, lie on the floor and you're just going to take your hands off the floor for a second. So chest goes all the way to the floor, hands just release and then press back up so your arms are fully extended. Uh, you can do these on your knees, that's fine. Down, hands, back up. Or you can do them on a raised surface. So not hand release. If you're doing them on a raised surface, they're not hand release, they're just chest touching. If you do them against the wall, uh, just watch that you don't, don't face plant. So you don't have to uh, touch your chest off the wall when you do face um, against the wall. Jump overs. So I'm looking around for something to jump over. This'll do. It could be, hang on, you can't actually see that. Could be that height. You want it to make it higher. If you've got two hexi dumbbells, you can make it that height. Uh, if you've got something that you could jump over, like a, that's all it is, just a jump over, uh, like a bench, you could use that. For the lunges, you can do walking lunges or stationary lunges, that's fine. The lunges should be knee to floor, okay? So the position that you should land in at the bottom is lead knee more or less above your heel okay try and avoid your lead knee being like right out over the top of your toes when you push up to come back up to standing you should be able to feel your weight through that heel at the back it should be more or less a straight line from your shoulder to your hip to your knee okay so you can either step up step through into a walking lunge or you can just do them on the spot where you are for the bent over rows you can do both weights at a time. Okay, so make sure when you do these that these are properly leaned over. What tends to happen is as you get tired, you upright yourself more and more because it makes it easier. Okay, so make sure that you're properly leaned over. Nice flat back, sticking your butt out. If you're doing both weights together, keep your elbows in, up by the side of your body. You can do one at a time. You can hold one underneath you 
And if you can't quite orientate your body, it can help to lean on something. So lean on something, push your shoulder, straighten your arm out, push your shoulder as far away from your wrist as you can, stick your butt out, and you can do your bent over rows there. And then your ab mat sit-ups. Soles of the feet go together. If you can, I know the flexibility can be an issue. All the way back, touch the ground above your head, all the way up, touch the ground in front of your feet. You can do these without the ab mat. They're a wee bit harder. Um, you can try subbing the ab mat for a, a towel, for example. You could roll a towel up and put that in place of the ab mat if you wish. If you really can't get on, if you've not got an ab mat and you really can't get on with the movement without it, and the towel thing's just not working for you, then you can sub for something else, leg raises, v tucks, something like that. Just make a note in the, in the comments on Sugar Wad. No bother, three rounds, 22 reps of each movement, go as heavy or as light as you like. Put all the notes in your comments on Sugar Wad so that I can fist bump you. You fist bump you. That's a new thing, fist bump, yo. Um, see, social distancing, we're not allowed to actually fist bump, so it's fist bump, yo. Uh, <laughs> uh, right, okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> right, have fun, guys. See you later. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye.